inside the luxurious Koh Samui home where Shane Warne died. When Shane Warne died, he had just returned from a trip to a luxurious island property with an infinity pool, games area, and breathtaking views of Thailand. Samajana Villas on the island of Koh Samui, Thailand, where he was discovered unconscious early on Saturday morning. Earlier that day, Warne and four of his buddies had been observed joking with fans at the airport, where they were headed on a guy's holiday. To reach the property in the northwest corner of the island, the party had to go to the country's third largest island. In the Chong Morn region of Phuket, Samajana is about 10 minutes from the airport and tucked in a lovely hillside. The home, which can be rented for anything from $1,000 to $4,000 per night, has a private beach and unobstructed views of Samui for Warn and his pals. Villas range in size from 1 to 8 bedrooms, but all include an extra-large private pool with an endless view of the ocean. Modern Thai architecture, stunning vistas, recreational facilities, and audio and media amenities were on display for the guests. Also included in the rental was a personal manager and maid for the property. Visitors to Samajana's website may expect unparalleled luxury and an ideal spot for friends and family to congregate and have a good time. The villas feature up to 1,600 square meters of space, each with a king-sized bed, as well as sun lounges around the swimming pool. Quote, an Instagram photo of Warren's vista from his villa was posted only hours before he was discovered unconscious. At about 5 p.m. local time, manager Andrew Neofitu spotted Warren asleep in the villa and attempted to rouse him up for dinner, but he didn't respond. Ambulances were sent to the property within 20 minutes of the incident, according to reports. Following a suspected heart attack, Warren was brought to the Thai International Hospital where he died. Kitty Chai Huadmarang, an ambulance worker, told local media that Warren was laying on the floor of the villa's lower level when they arrived. It was reported by the Boput Police Department that Warren's family and associates will be detained and questioned. He said that there were no indications of wrongdoing. In a statement released early Saturday morning, Warren's management business revealed that he had died.